Hi everyone. Today I want to share some highlights of our family trip to Kompot and Kaip. It was a two-day trip, but we did make a few stops at some beautiful places that I would recommend you to check out if you happen to be visiting Kompot or Kaip. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a three hour drive from Phnom Penh and just before we got there we made a stop to get lunch at Tak Chu at a restaurant called Mak Chu Chu. They have a really nice open seating area where you can enjoy the fresh air and the beautiful view of the river stream. Go <laughs> There are also different vendors trying to sell you different kinds of food and snacks that are popular for the locals. Can't really see your face. <laughs> He's sending the word to his uncle. Mm, to Uncle Sean. Miss very much. What do you want to say to him? I wish he was here. Oh. He was here. And then I will kiss his mouth. Oh, that's gross. No. You seven. You seven. And I will also. Seven. And I will also kiss this part of his. Because he loves him, so. I will kiss this part and this part and this part. I kiss this part. One million times is cut in infinity time. Oi! No, you don't do that. You want to show me the money? Where are the trees? Oh, I found a tree. Hey, enjoy your trip to the moon. Can I smell you? We got some Cambodian food for our lunch and just relaxed there for a few hours after the long drive. Since it was quite a hot day, some of us decided to go into the water and had the best time there. Oh. <laughs> After lunch, we went straight to our hotel to check in and get some rest. We ended up staying at this hotel called Nikasmi, and it's located in Kai Province. It seems like a fairly new hotel. The whole space looks new, and honestly, it looks like a good place for a family vacation. Their room is nice too. It's really big and good for six people. There's nice view of the pool when you go out to their little balcony. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you don't need any floaty. Barbecue night. Barbecue. 
At night, we were doing our little barbecue at the hotel.、Um, we were having fun. We got to spend the family time together. It was really nice. But a little review about this hotel, though, is that their service was not the best. There was a lot of back and forth and miscommunication between the hotel staff. We were told by some staff that we can cancel a room if we have fewer people. So we told them that we might need three rooms, but in fact. We only needed two room, and when we got there, we told them that okay, we only need two rooms.、Um, the person who checked us in, she also agreed to let us、um, cancel the room. But at the end of the day, they still came back to us and try to make us pay for the extra room that we did not even use. There's a lot of、um, back and forth, a lot of phone call conversation, which I don't think it makes sense at all. I believe this is a very very bad service. All right,、um, that's just all I want to share about this hotel. It was just a bad experience, but not a bad trip. As we continue our way to visit other interesting places, the next place we went to was more toward Gap Province, and we somehow ended up driving along Gap Beach with a lot of people enjoying their beach time. A little more drive up the hill. There's this place called Cafe Le Pnom, meaning coffee shop on mountain. Here on the top of the mountain, you will find many different coffee shops and many nice sitting areas with an awesome view from the top of the mountain. On the second day of the trip, we also went to Boko Mountain. It's about forty minutes to an hour drive to get to the top of the mountain. Right before you get to the top of the mountain, you will see this huge monument of Lok Ye Mau, also known as the Goddess of Protector. People would make a stop to pay respect, do some worship, and pray for protection and good luck. From here, you can already see the breathtaking view from the top of the mountain. Once you get to the top of the mountain at the main park, the temperature is naturally lower as you are a hundred meters above the sea level. So it does get a little colder here. On the top of the mountain, there's also a resort hotel with a casino that allow people to spend more time up here. As most people like to enjoy the cool weather of the low temperature, which is rare for Cambodia.
On the way back home, we also made a stop at Kampong Trat. Here, you will find an interesting cave with a lot of local children waiting to tell you the history of the place, hoping to earn some money as a tour guide. But guess what? Since there were too many of them, I don't think any of us got to listen to any of the story at all. As you can see here, it was a little chaotic. <laughs> I got me. It was definitely an interesting place to stop by and inside the cave there's also a little shrine for you to pay respect and pray for good luck. Those children also taught us some tricks on how to take the best photo in the cave as well. It was interesting. And here comes the end of our trip. Thank you for watching until the end. Drop some comments to let us know which place you want to check out. If you're in Kompot or Kaip, or if you know some interesting places in Kompot or Kaip, don't forget to let us know as well. What are you doing? Eating in the car. <laughs> 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 <laughs>